All right. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, the food experience is back. And tonight's experience, yes, it is nighttime. Look, I can't see the sun through the window. And this actually went a lot later than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to be cooking up some bacon wrapped chili cheese dogs. Got the bacon right here. Got some Angus beef hot dogs. I had to go for the cheaper ones. I'm on a budget, you know. And I got some cheddar jack cheese. I uh, got some canned chili. One day I'm going to be able to make my own from scratch. I just don't feel like my recipe is there yet. But I'm going to spike it because Hormel chili has like no heat to it, you know. It doesn't really have like all that much flavor or spices. So I'm going to go ahead and douse it with some of this dumpster fire right here from Hellfire and Brimstone. Hope you're all doing good tonight. I also got an onion and I also got a couple of ghost peppers I'm going to throw in the mix. And I got my food processor right here to help speed it up with those things so I don't have to keep you all waiting. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let me see who's on. Uh, nobody on. <laughs> Four people on. Good evening, everybody. You know me. I'm KJ Andio, and I'm back. So let's go ahead and get this party started, right? Uh, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and process the vegetables. And uh, let me go ahead and do that right now, take you guys down. Pike Place, what's going on? Bob, what's going on? Donna, how you doing? All right, folks, here we go. Let's go down and get these veggies ready, right? All right, so I'm not going to use the whole onion or anything. I'm just going to cut off the bottom and the top. Get that out of the way. And I don't save onions because by the time I end up using them, they've gone bad, you know. So don't worry about all that. I'm going to toss that one out. Let's go ahead and peel the onion. I could only really cook um, kind of like on the weekends. Otherwise, the way my work schedule is, I just can't do it. It's a little bit green. Yeah, this one's a little bit green. But I'm going to remove some of the layers. That's okay. I don't need all the onions in the world. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the ends off of the ghost peppers. Stems in the way there. Always when you go live, things happen, you know. It's the funniest thing. All right, that's done. That one's done. And I'm going to chop it up again and again. And I'm going to chop up the onion just a tad. Makes it easier for the food processor to deal with. There we go. Uh, you will save money. Nah, onions are like nothing. They're like a dime or something. I mean, they're totally cheap. I'm not worried about saving like that. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead and throw them in the food processor, right? I have a limited area to work with here. So pardon me for that, but I got my Ninja Master Prep Pro. Let's go ahead and throw these goodies in. Put the top back on, right? Put the motor on, and let's get busy. Here we go. All right, that should do it. I don't want to chop them up too finely. Ah, there's another kind of big piece in there. Let me give it one more go. Yeah, that looks better. Put that in the sink. Wash that out later. Get rid of these super sharp blades. Tell you, they already messed me up once. Not going to happen again. Not on my watch, I tell you. Okay, let me get a plate to put those on. All right. And Mr. Spatula. All right, let's get all this goodness out of there. That's going to make for some good topping on the hot dogs, ghost peppers, and onions. And definitely it's way more than I actually need. But there you go. That was simple, quick, and easy. Man, that um, Master Prep Pro is such a time saver. I love that thing. All right, let's go back up. And I'm going to move this aside, get it out of the way. Buy about a bag of onions a month. Yeah, I don't buy bags. I buy one onion at a time. If I were to buy a bag, they'd all go to waste. You don't understand I don't cook every night. I could only do it on the weekends. So for me, it's more economical just to buy one onion. They're like pennies on the dollar. They're like super stupid cheap, you know? Uh, 
Scott, what's going on, Omi? How you doing, man? All right. So next, uh, he did this one of a couple ways, but I, Randall saved the chili. Let's prep the hot dogs first, right? Chili doesn't take but a few minutes to heat up. So these are Angus beef dogs, bun length. Going to make two of them. That should satisfy my hunger. Go ahead and seal these, throw these back in the fridge. Brian, what's going on? How you doing? All right, so um, I guess we got to go back down again because I'm going to wrap these in bacon and show you what, how the way I do it, you know? And then we're going to throw them in the air fryer. I got the Cuisinart TOA60 air fryer. I love that device. It's an amazing little oven, uh, six-in-one type of device, or maybe seven-in-one now that I think about it. All right, here we go. Let's go back down one more time. I got the dogs. Hopefully the bacon's still good. I've had it about a week. Yeah, it looks good. It is super thick cut applewood smoked bacon. Um, here's kind of what it looks like. Let me break this off. But just to show you guys, it is pretty thick cut bacon, as you can see. And I get it direct from the butcher. I don't fool around with any of the package stuff. And it's actually cheaper, you know. I look at the package stuff. It's like six, seven, eight bucks for a pound. And I got 1.135 pounds for six dollars from the butcher. So it's a no brainer. Throw that back in. All right, so let's go ahead and do some wrapping. Also got some toothpicks here to kind of hold it together. And here we go. Oh, yeah. Put a toothpick in each end. And that ought to hold the bacon in place. That way, when it's cooking, it doesn't try to unravel. Hate when that happens. That's always a bummer, you know? And let's go ahead and wrap again. Oh, yeah. And let's go ahead and jab this one with the toothpick. There we go. Two dogs ready to go, folks. All right, let's go back up. And I'm back just like that. Let me catch up with the comments for a sec. To throw the bacon in the trash. Why would I do that? Dang mosquito. Doing good, man. Just got done watching The Walking Dead. Right on. Uh, mosquitoes, man. I hate those things. No doubt. Uh, when I do mine, I slice them down the middle and stuff them with cheese, then wrap them. Yeah, I guess that's a way you could do it. I'm going to be putting cheese, like, on top of them right when they come out of the oven, and then I'm going to put the chili on top of the cheese so it gets all melty. Um, I don't understand the throw the bacon in the trash, though. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I make a lot of food. Yeah, I wish I could. You know, I really wish I had the time. Unfortunately, I have an hour drive to and from work, so by the time I leave in the morning till the time I get back, it's almost 11 hours. And uh, I ain't got no time for cooking in the evening, you know. And I don't have a wife or a life for that matter. I live all alone, one bedroom house, and um, it works. So, all right, I got my air fryer basket right here. Let's go ahead and put the dogs in the basket. And usually I cook them like six, maybe seven minutes. That's about all it takes in the air fryer for the bacon. I already got a drip pan covered with foil in the air fryer, and let's put these things in. All right, just in case I don't uh, forget what I'm doing, I'm setting a timer to remind me about the bacon and the dogs. All right, let's go ahead and get some chili going. Unfortunately, my burner is kind of behind my Instant Pot. Hold on. Let me get rid of the Instant Pot for a sec. Maybe that'll help see what's going on a little better. Just standard issue Hormel chili, no beans, because beans don't belong on a hot dog with chili, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and put that on, turn on the heat. Put this over here. All right, the heat is on. All right, 
And um, like I said, I'm going to season it with this dumpster fire. And in case you don't know what this is, it has some of the world's hottest peppers. It's got Carolina Reaper, uh, I think Mar Maruga Scorpion. It's got habaneros. Um, got a bunch of other peppers in here, okay? But it's also got a little bit of salt and black pepper and also parsley. So that should make for a great seasoning to the Hormel chili, which is kind of bland by itself, all right? So I'm gonna just going to go put a generous amount in. That ought to do it. Don't want to put too much. Get too much salt in there, you know? All right. And uh, spatula, where'd you go? Okay, here it is. Let's go ahead and stir this up. But that'll definitely make the Hormel a way better chili, you know? Just saying. But eventually, I'm going to have my own chili recipe perfected. I almost got it. I'm like that close. I've done it a couple times. But there's just something just not right. And I got to work on it on my own before I decide to go live or pre-record a video and do it again for you guys. So until then, I'm going to use the canned stuff. Uh, let's see. Let me catch up with you guys here. Um, bacon look like fire. It is fire, man. Stuff is still fresh. Applewood bacon. Come on. No brainer, right? Um, I hear the air fryer is definitely a good investment. It definitely is. This Cuisinart TOA 60, you can find on Amazon. It's around $200 and check it out. It's got over like 7,000 reviews and it still holds over a four and a half star rating last time I checked. That's pretty dang good for that many reviews on an Amazon product, you know? So that's good. Um, let's see. I got one. It helps. Yeah. Can you make tacos? Uh, what's up, Rafi? What's going on? Of course, they can make ta tacos. I can make tacos, man. Uh, I made some chicken soft tacos. It's back on my channel. You could always go to my videos and check out how I did it. I marinated them. Um, chicken came out fantastic, you know? Okay, yeah, this is going... It was starting to bubble, so I want to stir it around a little bit. All right, there we go. Uh, like Andy's air fryer, mine is a lot smaller. Yeah, this thing is great. You could actually fit a full 12 inch pizza in this one. And um, sometimes I'll buy those from the store, you know, the frozen ones, but the big ones, the 12 inch size, and they fit in here no problem. Turn that down just a tad. Thing's pretty aggressive. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really have a regular kitchen. I don't have a stove with burners. I don't have a regular oven. Instead, I got this. I got two of these things, and I got an Instant Pot. I also got this air fryer oven, and um, the air fryer oven is able to go up to 450 degrees. A lot of air fryers, you'll find out, only go to about 380. There are some that break the 500 or go to about 500 degrees now. But there's one I have my eye on, but unfortunately... Um, and I've said it before, I'll say it again until this whole Corona thing's over. Work has cut our pay by 10%. Not only that, they reduced our hours to random days off. Like tomorrow, normally I'd go in at six in the morning and uh, boss wanted me to be on call because we're not sure of the workload yet. So until I get back up to speed, um, I just got to be careful and be on a budget. You know, that's just how it is. So hopefully that won't be too much longer, right? I know some states are already opening up full capacity. Hopefully uh, California isn't too far behind. Our governor's kind of a tyrant, so I'm not going to hold my breath, right? Uh, I got some hot dog buns here, some Wonder Bread buns. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these ready. I'm not going to toast them this time because it's just going to take longer. But you could optionally toast them if you like. And you could also substitute the chili or the type of bacon or the type of hot dogs, whatever you want. But like I said, I got the uh, bacon wrapped dogs in there for about six minutes, which has about a minute left to go. I turned the chili way down because it was like totally bubbling. Doesn't need to do that. It's already cooked. Just need to let it heat up, you know. All right, let's catch up with comments. Uh, Patrick, what's going on? How you doing? uh you have all the good tools and have come a long way in a few months thank you so much bob and i'm going to give a big shout out again to mr bob shorkey because um 
back when I was first starting, he bought me this cool bamboo cutting board set. There's three of these. He also bought me this amazing chef knife. It works so good. It's a uh, Mercer. i uh, got a serial number on it. It's uh, high carbon, no stain, stainless steel. This thing is sharp and it works really good, folks. But yeah, thanks again, Bob. You're awesome, man. Which one you have your eye on, bud? Okay, so there's this one I'm looking on at. It's um, from a Dutch manufacturer. I can't get to it right now. Um, I think I lost it in my Amazon thing. Yeah, I did. It's from a Dutch manufacturer, but what's cool about it, it's about the same size as this, but it does have a rotisserie option that'll rotate chicken around, and I think that would be just bomb. And it's got uh, French doors that open up like this. Um Trying to remember the name. I got it saved somewhere, but uh, I just don't have it right now. But yeah, it, it's a really cool sounding one. And it's $200, same price as this one. Not that I really need to upgrade because um, this thing works great. Okay, now that the timer went off, let me look at the bacon. Looks like it still needs some time because I'm not used to doing it like this. I'm used to just laying out the bacon flat in the air fryer tray in six minutes normally does it. But I can tell by looking in there, it definitely needs to go a little bit more. So maybe I'll turn up the heat a little bit and we'll let it go. Um, I don't usually make bacon wrapped hot dogs. So this is kind of like an experiment. I've done it once and that's it. <laughs> so I don't have this part perfected yet, but that's okay. A little trial and error. I got my um, onions and ghost peppers all chopped up, ready to go to use as a condiment. Oh yeah, let me get some mustard. And don't put ketchup on your chili dogs, folks. I mean, some people do. I don't. Um, little mustard's all you need. Oh, yeah. And maybe some pickles. Um, I'm not really much of a relish guy, but I do like these hamburger uh, dill chips from Heinz. So what I'm going to do while we're waiting on everything is I'm going to take a bunch of these out. And I'm going to chop them up a little bit. So it's kind of like relish, you know? Okay. Got the chef knife. Let's go down. I know how boring is it to watch someone cut pickles, right? I thought it was going to work in a stack, but it won't. So let's just go ahead and do it a little bit of manual, right? That's almost good. Yeah, that should be good enough. Don't want to cut them up into smithereens, but that should work. All right. Go ahead and put the pickles away. And let's go back up again. Whoa. What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. Hope you all had a great weekend. Really happy you're all tuning in. We got 10 people on right now. Glad to see you here, everybody. Sounds mind-blowing for chicken. Oh, yeah, man. It makes chicken amazing. Like, all you do is, you know, you marinate your chicken and everything. Right before you put it in the air fryer, you just do a little spray of olive oil. It seals in all the juices. When you cut that chicken afterwards, even if it's chicken breast, all this juice comes out. It holds it all in. It's amazing. Uh, love my rotisserie and my barbecue. See, I don't need to have a barbecue. This thing replaces a barbecue seriously i've done porterhouse steaks in it i've done just about everything in it and it always pulls through perfectly you know um have that option on one we have nice to have for sure um do you have any favorite tv shows andy i don't even have cable tv right now look at them nice skills man I i'm trying to improve you know but um i don't really watch tv to be honest i don't i haven't watched it in years I just have YouTube channels I follow, and I get them all queued up and ready to go before I go to bed. And um, lately, I've been watching some hot pepper reviewers like um, Johnny Scoville of Chase the Heat, Brian Ames, Heat 101, and Roger from the Hot Dang Show. That guy's funny, man. That guy's really good. Just watched him today. He did a um, hundred of those Pocky chips, the one chip challenge. Wowza. So, yeah, I watch a bunch of those guys. I watch um, a bunch of theme park reviews. I love roller coasters and thrill rides. I watch a bunch of those channels. 
Um, I also got some like nature channels because I love watching nature. I love animals. And there's different things I follow there as well. It's starting to bubble again. Let me turn it back down. But we're almost done, I think, folks. Let's go ahead and check these. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, these look good. These look really good. Okay. So here's what the dogs look like. I think they should be good. Where's my tongs? There they are. All right, let's go ahead and take them out. All right, put this in the sink. All right. I think we're looking pretty good there, folks. Go ahead and remove these toothpicks. Yeah, make sure to remove the toothpicks. Don't want to be eating on those things. <laughs> that would hurt. But yeah, this is what I'm looking at right now. The ends of, oh, oh, wow. Did I really do that? Well, that's okay. No big deal. Five second rule. Let's wash it off real quick. All right. It's good to go. A little bit of it broke off. That's hot. <laughs> That's good, though. Stuff always happens when you go live. I can't explain it, but it's a weird phenomenon that would normally never happen. All right, let me go down with you guys. Yeah, five-second rule always works with me, man. I'm not a germaphobe. There's some people out there that are like highly germaphobes. Not me. So I got the dogs all loaded up. And uh, let's go ahead and put some chili on them, right? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I almost forgot a step. Which, it's what happens when you go live, man. You, like, forget things and you don't go in order. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put some cheddar jack cheese on them. Load them up a little bit. There we go. Going to need another plate. All right. There we are. Going to save that for on top. Not going to have much room. I might have to actually use a knife and fork with these guys. I should have got bigger buns because bigger buns you could um, have more room to work with, you know. But these do look good. I'll tell you what. There we go. All nice and loaded up. Now let's go ahead and add some of the ghost pepper and onions. Some pickles. And I would say we are good to go, folks. I can't share the link here. Huh. I dropped a piece of food. My work still ate it. Yeah, why not, man? Um, but yeah, here it is. Here is tonight's creation right here. Nice, sloppy, big chili cheese dogs with pickles, ghost peppers, onions, mustard. Oh, I never did put the mustard on. <laughs> That's okay. Never too late. All right, here we go. Little dash of mustard. There we are. Don't want to put too much mustard. Here is the final product. How's that, folks? Look pretty good, huh? Now, if I only wish I had someone to uh, come over and, and enjoy them with me, that would make them even that much better. Catch up with the comments. Those are hot. I'm going to let them cool off a sec. Uh, need a link for those knives. Okay. Can't drop a link. Um, you can go ahead and forward it to me on Facebook, and I can forward it to Donna, or you could just forward it to Donna yourself on Facebook. Uh, either way. Um, let's see. <laughs> Patrick's laughing. He's food at work. It's not bad. Can't show that. Looks really good. Yeah, these things do look delicious, man. There's still steam coming off them a little bit. I don't want to burn the heck out of my mouth. See, I'm trying not to cuss on this channel. 
Trying so hard. All right. Got a Coca-Cola. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Tonight's food experience has been brought to you by the Coca-Cola Corporation. Have a Coke and you'll smile. No, I'm just bullsh BSing. I'm just BSing with you guys. <laughs> See how that goes? They say I should be in commercials or radio. That's the best I could do for you right there. Um, we got nine people watching. Good evening, everybody. We seem to have lost one person. So I think it's time to try to dig into these things, right? They should be nice and spicy. The ghost peppers combined with the dumpster fire. Oh, man. Oh, those are good. Definitely got some heat to them. I could already tell. Bacon is nice and crispy. I could taste the bacon through all that. Mouth is heating up pretty good. This dumpster fire has some good heat to it, folks. I know, right? That'd be a nice sponsor, though. It sure would, right, Patrick? I tell you, I'd be making some bank. Uh, thank you so much, brother. Right on, Scott. Yeah, these are delish, man. These are really, really good. I'm really happy the way they turned out. So what would you say? Um, that was maybe like eight minutes in the air fryer. Chili didn't take long because uh, Hormel chili's already cooked. You just heat it up. But I wanted it to kind of simmer there with the dumpster fire in it. Really good, though, man. These things are delicious. I tell you, yum, yum. I could totally taste the ghost peppers, the onion, chili, of course, bacon. I could taste it all. I mean, that's a good thing about when you make it like a chili cheese dog. You don't want to have too much of any one ingredient so it overpowers the other. And I seem to get just like the right ratio of everything. It just came out perfect. Hmm. Those ghost peppers, though. Boy, they're good. Um, I sent a link on the Facebook. Oh, okay, that was you. I heard it go ding. Thanks, Bob. Thanks a lot, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'll go ahead and forward that over to Donna. You know what happens after you drink a bunch of Coke like that? Yeah. Sorry. Had to do it. I just had to. Sorry about that. There may, be, maybe, I'm sorry. there may be no cussing on this channel, but burping is absolutely a go. It's all right. <laughs> Waiting for the comments to start rolling in. All right. That was dog one. Here is number two. Look at that, man. It's just fully loaded. I know I could like serve these, even with this cheap chili. I could serve these up at a restaurant and call them spicy chili cheese dogs. And I know people would buy them and be just happy with them. Bacon wrapped chili cheese dogs. Spicy. Uh, that was not a fake burp. I could assure you of that. Definitely not. I just, um, I know how to burp. I could actually form words. I could make full sentences. That was definitely not a fake one. Not at all. I just need, I know how to get my vocal cords involved with them. That's all. Remember the guys like in junior high being the black back of the classroom, burping up a storm or making like silly noises or talking in burpanese. That'd be me because I got so bored with school. 
What do you do when you're the class clown in school? You distract everyone else and deprive them of a good education. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Such a jerk, right? Um, hold on. I got something that popped up here. Bro, you're making me hungry right on. Uh, looks. Oh, yeah, these are definitely better than the ones from Sonic, bro. I mean, I love Sonic every now and then, but um, these are, like, way better, dude. No. Right? It is a compliment in some countries. But, yeah, that was a real burp, legit. You know those guys that can form full sentences? I used to be able to do that. I haven't done that in a long time, though. Oh, my God, I forgot the side order. I got barbecue chips, chips for the side order, folks. Yeah! That is a real burp, I guarantee it. And I'm sorry, I apologize, but it had to come out. Oh, boy. Holy hell, right? <laughs> the beast in me comes out. Yeah, some, uh, they're like barbecue lays, but they're store brand. Again, I got to save money. I really do. Burp and these, right? I just did do it again. <laughs> but I can't force myself to do it. I got to have the carbonation, uh, whether it's beer or soda or anything. And let me just show, let me just show you. I have to wash my hands. Let me show you the sweat level from the dumpster fire that I added and the ghost peppers on top. Look what it's done to me. My mouth is fine. It's like barely lit up. But my head, look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, my head is totally lit up, okay? I sweat really easily with spicy foods, but my mouth now is accustomed to it, so it doesn't really bother me, you know? Yeah. Sorry. Carbonation, the hit of the nation. That's what happens. Don't ever invite me over somewhere to have carbonated drinks of any kind because that's what you're going to get. I'm almost done with them, though. And then we'll shut the show down. But give me one sec. That's a lot. Of <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I aim to please, and I like to be funny. I like to be silly. That's the way I am. I'm a silly dude. I've always been that way, you know? All right, here he goes again. That wasn't enough, though. All right, give me one second. I'd like to hear your dad burp. Ah, my dad's 93, and he won't be burping anytime soon, you know. He's a good guy. He's a funny guy, too. How do you think I became this way? Because he's like a prankster, and I grew up with a prankster dad, with a joking dad, and he still tells jokes, you know. Like, if I burped like that, he would respond with, do it out the back, do it out the back. <laughs> no, you can't force them out the back. That's not how it works. And it's hard for me to even force one out, period, you know? I mean, I can sometimes swallow air and do that, but not while I'm eating. Definitely not. Almost done with the second one, though. Making us laugh in these hard times. Thank you. You're very welcome. My pleasure. I'd like to be um, the expense of everyone's laughter. I'm okay with that. Give a, I know uh, one of the guys from Stater Brothers followed me. So a uh, big shout out to all the fine folks at Stater Brothers Market. Best grocery store. They have the best butcher. All kinds of good cuts of meat. Good prices. Not as cheap as Walmart, but you get what you pay for. They have amazing customer service and amazing etiquette. 
Uh, their cashiers are so super friendly. Their bag persons are friendly. I mean, they're just so accommodating. Man. I don't even have to ask them anything. They're ringing me up and everything. And before I know it, they've already bagged it and put it in the cart, ready to go. Like, they're just really nice, good people. And they always chit-chat with me for a second, but not too long where the other person's waiting that's behind me, you know. But they're just friendly people. So big shout out to the Stater Brothers store in Palmdale. Thank you. Um, you should try, what is that? U T I Z Uchis honey barbecue potato chips. I don't think I get them here. Um, some of those potato chips are kind of regional. You know what I mean? You can't get them any, everywhere. And we have like Fritos and Lay's and, you know, all the regular brands like that. And then we have the store brands, but we don't really see too much other stuff. Those are some good dogs, though. When I finally perfect my chili recipe, it's going to be even better with that. I guarantee it. I'm like this close, okay? Um, even this Hormel chili, let me just tell you, what they use to keep it thick so it's not runny, they use flour, okay? And that's what I do with mine. I use some regular flour, and I use some uh, maize flour. And I just put too much, I think, because it, it was kind of floury tasting, you know? So I definitely need to back off on that and maybe figure out just one or two other little tweaks and I know I'll be good to go. But that's really how you thicken a chili. Either that or you let it sit there many, 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 many hours, which I don't normally have, you know. I got to do things like super quick. Ain't got no time for that kind of stuff, folks. Uh, yeah, no worries, Brian. Like RC Cola. Yeah, RC Cola. We get that sometimes out here. You got to go to the right store. But uh, I used to love RC Cola. Good stuff, you know? Let's see. It is only available in the Midwest. I remember eating that when I lived in Maryland, but they're not here in Texas. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If they're only Midwest, they're definitely not here in California. I got people chatting me. And that's about it. I just got a little part of a bun left. But I decimated those hot dogs. I had some potato chips. had some Coca-Cola. I still have a little bit of ghost peppers and onions left. I mean, I didn't really. I knew when I cut them, I like, yeah, that's too much. I'm not going to use them, you know. And there's no point in me putting them back in a fridge. They're going to be sitting there at least like the week. And then they're not going to be fresh anymore. And I like my stuff fresh. So, I mean, saving a buck, I'm not worried about. Saving a couple dollars, yeah, I'm a little more worried about. But I got a bunch of ghost peppers in the freezer. Onions, they're like a dime a dozen at the store here. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, Michael, what's going on, man? Yeah, I love RC Cola, too. Man, my, hair, my head now, wow, dude. I mean, I am totally sweating from the ghost peppers and this dumpster fire. You have no idea. Go wash up again. All right. But thanks. I think that is about it. We ran it into the ground. I showed you how to make bacon wrapped hot dogs with chili and cheese and ghost peppers and onions. One more burp because it's coming. Yeah. Sorry. I really am. Really am sorry, but just how it is. I live in Philly. Have a good week too, Brian. Right on. Um, you TZ is from Pennsylvania. Okay, that makes sense. That's why I haven't heard of them out here in Cali. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Bacon Wrap Chili Cheese Hot Dogs with Ghost Peppers, Onions, Mustard, Pickles. It's been fun, man. I really enjoy being here for you guys. I really love this channel that I started. I have such passion and cooking, even if it's something simple like what I did tonight and not a complex dish. Um, it's just fun, you know, and it's fun hanging out with you guys. So I think we're just going to cut it off right here. One more thing. If you're new to my channel and you come across this video later and you like what you see and you enjoy my personality, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, folks. What do you got to lose? I'm going to have all new kinds of stuff coming out all the time. 
Um, I've already kind of thought of a schedule. I think Saturday is going to be hot sauce Saturday. Sunday is going to be cooking adventure Sunday or Sunday fun day cooking or something like that. I haven't figured out the name yet. And sometimes during the week, I'm going to review random things at fast food restaurants. When dining in restaurants opens back up and I can afford to do it, I'm going to go into some restaurants and film there as well. I already have a video from way back when I did a Chili's. Uh, it was the Chili's like two for 20 or 25 or something like that. I don't know, but I really wish I would have kept doing that. But uh, unfortunately, due to the current state of the union, we're not able to do that. So really appreciate all your company. It means a lot that you're here, part of my channel, because it's your channel as much as it is my channel. Because without you guys, I wouldn't even have a channel or followers or anyone to talk to. I'd be like sitting here talking to myself. So really, thank you so much again. With that, we're going to buzz out of here. Have a very stellar rest of your night. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Take care, my fine folks, and I'll see you next time. Laters.